I'm Ben. I'm sorry. If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's sorry says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of Alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get matched down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. <laughs> the alliances hang out on Discord. Shh. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch indeed, and a child shall lead them to buy our merch. This is Phantom Antichrist. The band's name is Creator.
I really enjoyed that song, dear listener. Can I hear your many things? Oh, oh man, listen, <laughs> listen. Your mark. If, the ben, <laughs> if Ben would have done this song at season three, he would be a lot happier. <laughs> Stop doing that, baby. Season, People season, are gonna be like, <laughs> season three is gonna is is gonna. I've got so many plans. Okay, first and foremost, this song is at least getting a ten from me. That's number one. Wow, straight That's off the no, bat, like right that. off the bat, no discussion. You're not even, you know, don't drag it out, nothing. Listen, I'm a metalhead, man. At the end of the day, you know, like. <laughs> I just love the heavy shit, man. I love playing that. I, I agree. When you pulled back that part, there was a like, mm, Yeah. I like that, too. And, uh, this one was a fun we one. Can, we can do shit like that. Like, we can do shit like that easy. We I just got to find a drummer. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to start, like, uh, really uh, doing... We got to do some tryouts. Because we have a lead guitarist. Yep. And then you got me. And, our, and Jay, our lead guitarist, is dragging me along. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, if you're going to be in the uh, southern uh, Florida area, what are you doing? Well, I was going to... That that theory is completely wrong. I see that. It's completely wrong. It has to do with our distance, but it's okay. Um, you should have told me. I told you yesterday. Oh, yeah, but I thought I found something new. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Um yeah, un, 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 unbelievable. Look, like, look, this is the music I like to play, <laughs> okay? Like, this, this is the music that I like to, you know, like, it was a very, very guitar-driven record, and I think, like, that instrument, man, is just... Just for me, man, like, what metal has brought to the world... It's just like, it's just incredible, man. Like, I genuinely believe that there have been like hundreds and thousands of lives saved because of heavy metal. I really mm -hmm. believe that. Mm -hmm. Being able I to agree. get out that energy and that aggression and quite frankly, the, the CO2. I'm listening to a lot of Dr. Huberman and he was talking about how excess CO2 um, is a major problem for a lot of people. What is it? Excess CO two because you're not breathing enough. So he basically really oh so that goes into you should exercise especially if you have sleep apnea. So he he does a very long run like once a week to force basically force him to uh, hyperventilate all the uh, the CO two out of there. But um, wow, uh, I just heavy metal is just is just crazy, man. The energy is insane, and I get it, man. If you're an outsider looking into this shit, it's 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 just a bunch of crazy kids running around and. Dudes on stage running around, but there's a lot of shit happening there, bro. There's a yeah. lot of shit getting worked out there. Yeah, you can feel it when you go to the shows, especially. You can really feel that. Ascending from an enemy appears, ending the ever-forming bliss. To appear a horror in the wilds, a fear that concentrates upon the eyes. Force of total violence, mm. total death, lies, a pure feeling of the West. To start the calibration of the childs, I don't know what that is, the cancellation revelation sluts, phantom calling across the land, leaving trails of blood and sand, and this tortured misery, souls are awake enough to see far beyond the lies, phantom antichrist. So he says, two, uh, he said two figures popped out of the forest, right? Wasn't it something like that? Here it is. The beginning. Ascending from the from an enemy appears, ending the ever forming bliss. To appear a horror in the wilds. Um, and the name of the the, the, the song is called Phantom Antichrist. What's interesting is that in the Bible, so so most people think that the beast of Revelation is the Antichrist. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, people. Do I don't think the beast of Revelation is the Antichrist, but um. They do. What a lot of people don't know is that the Antichrist in Revelation, if the being in Revelation is the Antichrist, let's just go with that. What most people don't know is that the Antichrist actually has a sidekick. It's the Antichrist and the false prophet. That's right. Yeah. Right, because so there's there's a sort of ape of the Trinity where you have the dragon, which is the devil, the Antichrist, which is essentially his son, and then the false prophet, who basically functions as a role of the Holy Spirit to get everybody to worship the Antichrist. Oh, okay, yeah. So they can get glory back to the to the beast. Yeah. In the same way, the Holy Spirit goes around yeah, the and, and Holy Trinity. The Holy Spirit runs around, recruits us to go with Jesus, and we glorify the Father through Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
the anti the, the false prophet gets people, they recruit them to worship the antichrist, and in worshiping the antichrist, it goes to the dragon. So it's 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 a that's the trinity. Yeah, e it's obviously less at the economic level. They're functioning like the trinity. Yeah, it's a less powerful version because it takes three beings to create what they're doing there. Right. In, in in you know obviously right. God, it's he's one being, three persons. Right. So he's more, obviously more powerful. Archers are the. Archers are the forever slain. The three become hopelessly enslaved. The inheritance of a thousand words. Four take the blessing of the sword. The traitors form. They will never yield. Pain becomes This is one by numbers. There was two up here. Then there was three. Uh -huh. Three become hopeless. Now four and take four. the blessing. Yeah. Four take the blessing of the sword. The traitors form. They will never yield. Pain becomes thunder. Righteously, they are anxious for the fall in paradise. The kingdom of the phantom antichrist. Phantoms calling across the land, leaving trails of blood and sand. Terror from the left, terror from the right. Oppression is a route to our great suicide. Overthrowing gods, overthrowing all. Exchanging off the stimulated mind. Contagion, feeding off the woes. From human misery, genocide, genocide. War doesn't cease. The shadow of his wings is failing okay. on his limbs. Okay, okay. All right, don't worry about it. Please don't interrupt the, our work. Every other color turning into black, saviors calling across the land, a new beginning that has no end, an open mind of forceful will, don't start laughing, feel the kill. I love that line, feel the kill. Um, Soul of Love and Night, Phantom Antichrist. Okay, so it looks to me, shout out to uh, Duck Johnson in the house. <laughs> no, you did Johnson. not miss it. Um, yeah, yeah, the grammar is kind of reckless, but I think that's really interesting. You got two, three, and four. Yeah. Um, that's, that's very, very interesting. And, and, and it's crazy because they're saying there people are, are going for the, uh, the fall in paradise. I think what's at the end of the day, what's happening is that he's right in calling out the fact that there is a fallen paradise that all of us are looking for. That we're looking for? Everybody's looking for paradise. Oh, 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 you said a fall. Right? Okay. And, and, but we all know that it's a fallen paradise. Yeah. And if you right. look at, I mean, and, and like being in a situation like that, being in a desperate situation like that, the human family collectively does things they otherwise would not do. I think like this is one of those situations where like, you know, when politicians don't understand like what's going on with the people, mm -hmm. it, it does kind of leave you vulnerable to a, an antichrist type figure. Like, for example... Uh, now that I got uh, Doug Johnson in here, I'm, I'm just going to start fucking with people. But, like, look at Trump, right? Mm -hmm. you, you, you've got to... What was Trump selling us at the beginning? Make America great. Make America great again. We're going back to the way it was. Okay, but forget the racial connotations of all that. To be honest with you, when they were saying that the MAGA hat was like a simpler racism, I really didn't understand what the fuck they were talking about. Like everybody was saying it, but I really didn't understand like how that phrase is equivalent to. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 but but anyway. I mean, what do you really? Make America great again? How does that make you a racist? Well, I think well, I, I think it's, I know, it's the yeah. lack of understanding of where, um, where the country was at that point. I mean, it was a point in time where we could have even been together in this country. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when you say make it great, you are you are talking about because things have gotten better for for black people than they were before. Would yeah. you say, or would just, you disagree just, with that? I just, I just think that's, <laughs> to, be honest no with you, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, what happened was initially, I remember people initially mocking the MAGA hats and saying, you know, they were dumb or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then Michael Moore came out and said, listen, man, I'm in Michigan. I'm seeing these hats all over the place. Y'all gotta take this shit serious. And when they took it serious, then they transformed it into, oh, it's okay. Oh, no. But like, okay. I, but, but here's the point about why that phrase was so powerful. Because every four years, um, our politicians get in front of us and basically say something like this. America's the greatest country in the world. We had this and this and this. It was so great. And then the fucking Democrats showed up and the Democrats went and fucked everything up. But here I am to restore paradise back to America. Mm -hmm. The drive for trying to get back to paradise, to me, is more responsible for the Made in America Great Again hat than racism. I mean, I agree. The, yeah. the, the, the ultimate issue is all of us have an idealized world and all of us know that we're not in the idealized world right now. Uh -huh. 
And so what happens is when you get a charismatic leader who can promise you to get there, that person then becomes kind of like an antichrist figure. Mm -hmm. And so it was funny because I, I, I put something up on a middle, on middle America just to troll people, but it was kind of true when I was talking, people were talking about the antichrist. And I said, listen, the antichrist is supposed to be a great deceiver. You're not supposed to know he's the fucking antichrist. True. So I'm saying, look at all the right-wing evangelical supporting this dude who lives a life of obvious unrepentant sin. Yeah. They were yeah. calling him a baby Christian while he was up there calling this woman horse face and all this shit. And again, people are gonna get distracted because it's Trump and all the rest of it. I'm just setting that up as an archetype because it's the most current mm -hmm. situation. But we can go back to Nazi Germany. What was Hitler talking about in Nazi Germany? A thousand year Reich. What is that? Where did we get the like reign? Right, it's a thousand year reign, right? Yeah. That's a thousand year reign, right? And 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 that comes from, you know, Revelation 20, where you have this idealized place for a thousand years, right? Mm -hmm. Revelation 20, the devil is bound and all, all the rest of it. And so look at the German people. People say, how could people follow that guy? And like, obviously, original sin is the ultimate answer. But at the end of the day, it's just human psychology. All of us know that things are not the way they should be. And all of us are trying to get back to some sort of paradisical state. Mm -hmm. And politicians jump on that. Yeah. And every four years, they keep reiterating the same message. Mm -hmm. Whether it, 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 you can look at Obama. What was going on with Obama when he first showed up in 2008? Change. We're here for change. We're not a red country. We're together. And you can see almost Christological imagery being applied to Obama in like his posters, had a halo around it, all types of shit. Oh my gosh. And so, um, the point is, like, it's fun to talk about, like, the Antichrist, like, the last one, last one, which for sure. Um, but that spirit or that idea is here already. Yeah. yeah. And Paul talks about that in Thessalonians. He talks about the mystery of iniquity is already at work. Yep. And so. And it talks about the spirit of the Antichrist yeah. as well. Yeah, and, and yeah, and he says Phantom Antichrist, and you can get the spirit from Phantom for sure. But yeah, man, like it was a really, um, really, really, really good, good lyrical kind of breakdown of the mentality. He did a really, really good job. It's, it's a ten for me. I you love know, what, this you song. know what I thought the song was? I love this song. Because of course, I I only picked up some of the lyrics, and then I just like dove into the music. Thought the the sound was just so great. It was like fun. It, we were like rocking about, and then people were like. It'd be fun if there was a pit, you know what I mean? So anyway, I thought when we talked about Phantom Antichrist and it talked about like this, think of, I thought we were talking about the, the Crusades and they were actually depicting like the Christian as a Phantom Antichrist. A Phantom as in, because nobody would characterize, they're like all those re religious people, but they, they did not go in the spirit of Christ. They certainly went in the spirit of the Antichrist because of the way that they were treating people. And, and so, so I, I thought that's what it 100%, was. 100%. That's such a good call too, because like in certain Christian spheres, like everybody's looking for the Antichrist. Yep. And it's like, we've been here mad times. If, 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 <laughs> if this dude has got the skill, skill set to literally get the entire world to follow every, you know, will and decree of his, mm -hmm. how in the hell would you think you would catch that guy? Like, you gotta be really arrogant to believe, oh, he wouldn't fool me. <laughs> He's okay. gonna deceive everybody. Not me though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. You follow the U.S. media, but the right. but you wouldn't follow the Antichrist. Okay. All right. What did you? Uh, what did you give this, it? This this was a ten. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, man. Freaking metal. That's what we are. <laughs> Look, this is so bad. I, I shouldn't even be announcing this. So Dwayne says, "Where's my sister Helen? My other sister Sadie." Ben responds back with, uh, "They probably thought Ben and Sawyer would be an hour late." <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, <laughs> <laughs> I have so many names. All right, we shall return, dear listener. I see 41 in the room, but I only see they thumbs up. You guys need to down thumb it or up thumb it. Yeah, do one or the other. Shit or get off the pot. We're going to back in the commercial break. We shall return, you goons. Vin out. Sorry, out. Gone.